Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Tip of the Week video. This tip is the first of a couple of short tips for Apple Music. And particularly this one is all about smart playlists. Now, I'm sure you've made smart playlists before, but it can be a bit difficult how to control them, especially the sort order. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a smart playlist for uh, one of my favorite artists, which is Kate Bush. I've already downloaded all her albums from Apple Music. So I have all uh, popular albums downloaded, but no particular order. In fact, I think this is probably alphabetical order. Um, what I want to do, though, is to create a smart playlist and then sort them by the year the albums were released and then by the album. So what I'm going to do first is create my playlist. So if I say File, New, Smart Playlist, then the artist contains Kate Bush, and we'll say OK. So there is my Smart Playlist. As you can see, I've got all the albums, but in alphabetical order. So I want to change that order. The way to do that is go to View, and then go to uh, View As, and then Songs. So we can see all the songs. Again, still ordered by alphabetical order. And what I want to do is change it so that it's both the artist, the album, and the year. Now, I could bring up the year within the column, uh, but what I'm actually going to do is just click on Album. Now, by clicking on the album, it doesn't just change the sort order of the album. If I click once more, it's like changed by uh, artist, but also album by artist by year. So now I have the oldest albums first and the newer albums down at the bottom. And I can actually prove that by going to here, control or right click and going down and adding in year. So there we go, 1978 all the way through to 2011. Now, if we go over to the iPhone, now this is just the iPhone piped onto my desktop using QuickTime Player, just to show you. If I go across to Playlists, there's my Kate Bush playlist. If I tap into there, right, I can actually see uh, all my albums in the order that I want. So the order of the playlist that I created on the Mac has been reflected across over to my iPhone. So more tips on Apple Music next week. If you want to learn more about using your Apple devices, there are over 700 full video tutorials available to Screencast Online members, covering all aspects of the Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and even the Apple TV. Now, all full members receive a new Apple-related video tutorial each and every week, as well as a free subscription to the Screencast Online monthly magazine, packed with videos and articles on getting the most out of your Apple devices. Now, you can get your free 14-day trial membership over at screencastsonline.com or check out some of the free content over on the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone, and Apple TV. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another tip, so I'll speak to you then.